two types of hydrogen bonding. And remember, hydrogen bonding occurs when you have a hydrogen that is covalently bound to an oxygen, a fluorine, or a nitrogen. Okay, and so those types of hydrogens can participate in hydrogen bonding. So the two types that are available are intermolecular and intramolecular. Now with intermolecular, remember that this happens between two or more molecules. Okay, and so we'll go through an example of that in a second. The second type is intramolecular, okay? And intramolecular means that the hydrogen bonding that takes place happens within the same molecule. Okay, so let's look at an example of these two. So with intermolecular, we have to have that hydrogen on an oxygen, a nitrogen, or a uh, fluorine, okay? So let's draw a molecule up here. Okay, and so because this hydrogen right here is bound to an oxygen covalently, we can form a hydrogen bond. Okay, so if another molecule, because this is intermolecular, so we need another molecule comes, we can actually form a hydrogen bond to these lone pairs or using those lone pairs right there. Okay, and so what's kind of cool about this molecule right here is if I have another one that's situated across the, or, or nearby, right, we've got a lone pair of electrons here, a lone pair here, and lone pairs on that oxygen, what can happen is we can form an interaction here. Okay, so this becomes the hydrogen bond. And again, we can form an interaction between a lone pair of electrons to the other hydrogen. Now, when this happens, this forms what's called a, a dimer, right? Because there's two molecules, okay? And so just some um, vocabulary, right? So we have our hydrogen bond here. So this molecule, becomes the donor. This lone pair right here is the hydrogen bond acceptor. And right here, we've got the hydrogen bond acceptor. And this hydrogen right here is the hydrogen donor, right? So this, this molecule over here donates a hydrogen and also accepts. So lone pairs accept and hydrogens get donated. Okay. Now the second type, so this is intermolecular between two different molecules. The next type is intramolecular. Now intramolecular, remember, is the same molecule. And so this can happen if you have a hydrogen and a lone pair close. So an example of this is if we have a ring, let's draw this out, that's a double bond. And here we have an oxygen that has a hydrogen on it. Okay, so this is an example of a molecule, let me just draw this double bond a little bit better, okay? And so what happens is the lone pair of electrons on this oxygen forms an interaction or a hydrogen bond with the hydrogen on that oxygen, okay? So six member rings are pretty stable in chemistry. And so right here is our hydrogen bond, okay? We've got the lone pair of electrons here that the acceptor 
and this hydrogen right here is the donor, okay? That doesn't work between the interaction here because it's just much too close, okay? So it only works in this case because when that hydrogen bond happens, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six atoms that create a circle, 